Hello everybody, this is Yokozuna Reactions, and uh, this is going to be my view for Pokemon Season 1, Episode 4. I didn't realize I still had this one not uploaded because I went and recorded Episode 5 earlier today. And I was looking and was like, did I? How much did I have already gotten uploaded or recorded? And I checked and it was Episode 4 and I was like, oh, okay. So here's episode four. Ash's Caterpie had just evolved into Metapod and he was looking to catch a Weedle that he had found. And obviously, you know, Misty's fear of bugs, which I don't blame her besides this thing was on her dang leg and this thing is poisonous. Don't blame her for freaking out. So she freaks out, runs off and ends up encountering a guy called Samurai, who's looking for a Pokemon trainer from Pallid. She realizes that he's looking for Ash, and she runs up to try and find him and warn him before this guy shows up. Well, Ash is in the middle of catching the Weedle, and is using Pidgeotto to do so. Smart move. And he's about to throw the ball when the guy pops up behind him and draws a sword on him. Because of this, the Weedle gets away. And I think Ash is right to blame him on this. If he hadn't popped up and bothered him, he probably would have caught that Weedle. Maybe. Who knows? So, because of this, this guy is challenging him to a battle because he's wanting to challenge all the Pokemon trainers that came from Palatown. Okay, fair enough. And... His first Pokemon is Pinsir. Wonder where he got that thing from, since that's a hard to find Pokemon. At least in the games, anyway. So he was going to send out Pikachu, which wouldn't have been a bad choice. But Pikachu is. Nope, I'm not doing it. Man, he tries to take, act like he's gonna take a nap. So he sends out Pidgeotto, and apparently Pidgeotto's pooped. And I was like, from what we saw of the battle, it didn't look like a whole lot had happened. Like, it didn't seem like Pidgeotto was, like, low on, a I guess, HP? I guess stamina is something completely different from the Pokemon games? But even still, it didn't look like it had exerted a lot of energy fighting that Weedle. So, well, anyway... He tries to use a uh, Pidgeotto, and the Pinsir ends up taking it out. More than likely due to the fact that it had a low HP, because all it took was a simple thing. It it was either tackle or takedown. I can't remember. And it was out. So he has no choice but to send out Metapod because Pikachu's not wanting to battle. And. He has Metapod use Harden. Apparently it hardened itself so much that it broke the things on the pincer's head. And that was enough to take it down? Really? I don't think it was. But whatever. It's down to one Pokemon versus one Pokemon. Why? Why would you... He had a Metapod. That was a second Pokemon. Shouldn't Metapod still have t Tackle? Because usually when it evolves, it'll have Tackle and String Shot. And when it evolves, it learns Harden, which is three moves. So it should still have Tackle. These idiots decide that they're going to settle this with a Hardening Contest. Why? Where they've been there for God knows how long, probably hours. And yeah, Misty yells at them, yeah, you two are more hard headed than your metapods. And I have to agree, they're stupid. One of them could have easily had metapod use tackle. Because as far as we know, metapod should still have that move. Both of them should still have that move. And the only moves that they were using were hardened. The only way that would happen is if you caught a wild metapod in the games, it would only have hardened. That's the only way that would make sense, and obviously no, that doesn't make sense, because 
before Caterpie had Tackle and String Shot. We saw it use it in the last episode. So, I don't get how this was possible. Does a is Ash really that stupid that he forgets that his Pokemon has Tackle? A damaging move. And even if it, even if his opponent kept using Harden, it eventually would do enough damage to KO it. Correct? Well, because of this, I don't know if it was because of Misty or just bad timing because that stupid Weedle from before went and alerted the rest of the kind that uh, there was enemies around. So now a swarm of beach was coming after them. Great. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the mic, but it's either windy out there or it is raining. Or both. I don't know. Anyway. Um, yeah, he cancels the battle, returns his Metapod, and runs off. Ash did not think to return his Metapod when he did that, because, uh, yeah, one of the Beedrills reached over and grabbed it, and flew off with it. So, now he has to go and find his Metapod, because he's not leaving him behind. And... Yeah, they have to go and hide in uh, Samurai's cabin to avoid the Beedrill. And Samurai kind of scolds him for all this because uh, Ash essentially abandoned Metapod even though he was just as startled by the Beedrill as the others were and he didn't have a quick... Apparently I guess he wasn't thinking, oh maybe I should return my Pokemon. But yeah, Ash sneaks out in the morning and goes to find Metapod. He finds him, but around a tree full of sleeping Beedrill. Now here's where I don't get why Team Rock- I get Team Rocket is supposed to be stupid at times, but it makes no sense in this context because earlier in the episode it showed them carrying around what looked like a, be a makeshift tank and their reasoning for it was to protect us from Beedrill. Ever been stung by one? It hurts. That's what they said. To protect them from Beedrill. And yet, when they encounter Ash, they are being so freaking loud that they could alert, even if the Beedrill weren't in the area, they would still alert them to their presence. Are you guys that stupid? You do realize, you know there's Beedrill in the area. Why would you want to be so loud as to alert them? Hey, there's somebody here to attack! Yeah, they, they are stupid. I know they're supposed to be stupid at times, but seriously, don't be stupid. And the Beedrill end up coming after them, and that guy thought that tank was going to be useless. The Weedle are eating it, because apparently it's made of paper. Now, how was that supposed to protect you, even if the Weedle hadn't been eating it? I doubt a paper tank would protect you. Now, if that had been some kind of metal tank, you guys would have probably been able to protect yourselves. Maybe. Anyway, Ash goes and grabs Metapod and runs off carrying it without returning it to its Pokeball because apparently Metapod doesn't want to go in its Pokeball. Anyway, he goes off blaming uh, Samurai for what happened to Metapod because he got distracted and I'm like, even so, you should have still... I can't really say anything on this. Anyway, Abidra goes to attack him. And Metapod jumps in and uses Tackle. Why didn't he do that before? That battle could have ended ages ago. And they might not have alerted the Beedrill to their presence. This all could have been avoided had he used Tackle. And because of this, Butterfree, apparently it evolves into Butterfree. I guess Metapod was like on the verge of level 10. And then it evolved. So, because of this, it now knows sleep powder, so it put all the butter, all the beater to sleep. What I don't get is, as far as we know, they were only in that forest for a couple days. So, at most, he would have been off on his journey for what four, five days at most. 
But no, later on, uh, in the next episode, he ends up claiming that he's had Pikachu for two weeks. No. That's not right. Because they were leaving the forest at the end of this episode. What the heck happened? Did they get just turn right back around and go back in the forest? Anyway. Um, yeah. Anyway, if you guys have any more comments you want to make on this, feel free to. Maybe something I missed. Maybe if I'm wrong on something, you know, let me know. And I'll see you guys next time.